Hi, today we are going to see about artificial intelligence. I am K. Vijay Kumari, working as an assistant professor, Department of Computer Science, Trinity College for Women, Namakkal. First, we are going to see about what is intelligence. Intelligence is ability to learn something about, to learn from, to understand about, and interact with one environments. Intelligence is an art of understanding. Next, we are going to see about what is artificial intelligence. In short, we call it as AI. It is usually defined as the science of making computers do things that require intelligence when done by humans. It is a study of ideas that enable computer to be intelligent. In a sense, artificial intelligence is a technique of getting machines to work and behave like a humans. Next, there are three types of artificial intelligence. Artificial narrow intelligence, next artificial gentle intelligence, at last there is a artificial super intelligence. First, we are going to see about artificial narrow intelligence, ANI, we also called as weak AI, applying AI only to specific tasks, it focuses to solve some specific or some particular problem. Let me see some examples of artificial narrow intelligence. The first example, Apple 3. We all know it's a voice recognition by speaking voice, it will reply for the answer. It is operated within a limited period limited period or free defined range of your function. The next example is Alexa. It is also one of the voice recognition app. It is also operated with a limited predefined range of your function. Next, Sophia Robot is one of the application of weak AI. Next, Google Map. We all are using the Google map to identify the location. These all are applications based on the weak or narrow AI. The next type is general artificial intelligence. It is also called a strong artificial intelligence. It involves machines that possess the ability to perform any intelligible task that human can do. Examples of general AI are Alpha Zero, Next Alpha Go Next. The next type is artificial super AI. Artificial super intelligence is a term referring to the time when capabilities of computer will surface. These are all the examples of super AI. It is used in cinema industries. Next, our machines are more intelligent or humans are more intelligent. Human intelligence have a common sense but artificial intelligence does not have it. Human intelligence have a limited knowledge, limited memory, but artificial intelligence have unlimited knowledge and unlimited memory. A human intelligence does not retain large amount of data, but artificial intelligence can able to retain large amount of data. In human intelligence, information processing naturally slow in memory, but in artificial intelligence, information processing are fast in memory, but it may be not accurate what it can store it retrieve it next human brain versus artificial neural network human have brain that can have perceptual thinking neurons are neural structures for the transformation of messages but an artificial network contains wires circuit transistors and sensors for the transformation of messages next why we need artificial intelligence to supplement a natural intelligence for example if we are building intelligence in an object so it can do what we want to do for example robots they are reducing the human labor and reducing the human mistakes so we need ai next applications of ai natural language understanding expert system speech recognition machine learning game playing computer vision these all are the sum of the applications of AI. In application, first we are going to see about speech recognition, speech analytics, call center agent, call monitoring, transcription, translation, agent coaching, customer engagement. These are all the sum features used in speech analytics, in speech recognition used by AI application. The next application is Google AI Doctor. It can examine the retina scans and identify the condition of the eye like blindness. The next example is social media platform like Facebook used artificial intelligence 
to detect the face features and tag it to your friends the next application is google search that means google predicted search is one of the famous application in artificial intelligence when you begin your search it will give you a recommendation for the search it by means of predicted data about google it will collect our information like previous search history location our age our personal information etc based on this predicted data it will show in the search box what we going to search next the next is virtual assistants google three google assistant conata are the three virtual assistant app used by ai applications it all are used by voice assistant the next application is tesla self-driving car it drive the car without any human interaction the next application is robot it will all do the work like human in it also used in healthcare industries by helping the patients and helping the doctors then next it all used in homes um, also used in hotels and many fields now robots are used frequently these are all the sum of the applications of artificial intelligence thank you if you have any queries post it in your comment box thank you for your patience listening